In the years after Einstein's theory of general relativity was dramatically affirmed during the 1919 eclipse, other scientists began to work out the implications of general relativity. Jeeves, you want to take over? We know mass distorts space. We know light is affected by gravity. And we know Einstein's theory of general relativity makes possible one of the strangest objects ever imagined by physicists. If you could create a large enough distortion in space-time, by placing enough mass in a small enough space, you could create a region of space-time so strongly curved that nothing, not even light, could escape it. And since nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, anything that entered this region of space-time would be trapped there until quantum mechanical effects allowed it to escape. Black holes can come in any size and have any mass. All that is required is that enough mass can be concentrated to the point where it collapses under its own gravity. Stellar mass black holes are formed when stars 20 or more times the size of our own sun finally run out of fuel in their cores. They rapidly cool and collapse, and the shock wave from the collapse blows the outer layers of the stars to bits in a colossal explosion called a supernova. But the small, dense core of the star can remain bound together by the force of gravity. As it continues to collapse inward under its own weight, the atomic particles of the core are smashed together until all that is left is a black hole. In its center lies the singularity, the mass of an entire star crushed into a single point in space. Surrounding that is an invisible shell called the event horizon. This is the cosmic point of no return. Once inside the event horizon, nothing, not even light, can escape except through quantum mechanical processes. Supermassive black holes may contain billions of times the mass of our sun. These monsters lie at the center of every large galaxy. Micro black holes have tiny masses at which the effects of quantum mechanics are very important. Black holes of this type have been proposed to have formed during the Big Bang and would quickly evaporate due to said quantum mechanical effects. At the end of their life, it is believed that they would emit a sudden burst of energetic particles. But no such burst have been detected as of 2008. We can never see into, or directly know, about what happens inside the event horizon of a black hole. In effect, any object that crosses this imaginary line has left our universe for good. But if nothing, not even light, can escape a black hole, then how do astronomers manage to detect them? It is possible to imagine spotting a solitary black hole by observing the bent starlight from behind it. But a better chance of detecting one would arise if they were not alone in space, but accompanied by another star. This black hole is drawing matter from a companion star which orbits it at a distance safely outside the event horizon. As the gas spirals into the black hole, it heats up and emits huge quantities of high-energy radiation. Intense radiation emerging from a small area, or stars orbiting small invisible companions, these are telltale calling cards of a black hole. It may seem surprising, but today, more than 100 years after Einstein published his first papers on relativity, there are still aspects of his theories 
that have not been put to experimental tests. One is the idea, if that there were a very violent event in space, such as a collision of two black holes, or a supernova explosion, that it would cause a ripple in the space-time fabric. By the time it got to Earth, the ripple would be minuscule. But scientists hope that with sensitive experiments, they might someday be able to detect the tiny distortions of space caused by these gravitational waves. Another prediction of general relativity, not tested until this century, is related to the effect of rotating objects on space-time. While a massive object only bends space in its vicinity, a spinning object will also twist the fabric of space. This was recently confirmed. Yes, Einstein's legacy is sound, and his achievements place him alongside Galileo and Newton, as well as a small handful of scientists who completely changed our way of viewing the universe and our place in it. But new scientific ideas can take a long time to reach the public consciousness. Perhaps in another hundred years, people will take the relativity of space and time just as much for granted as we take the daily rotation of the Earth. Perhaps by then, humankind will travel between the stars as routinely as we travel in airplanes today. Albert Einstein was clearly a man for all time.